Today, we're at International Dino Authority. This is a 2022 Mustang with the Roush Supercharger and the entire kit on it. It's supposed to make 750 crank horsepower. We're going to test that. We're going to improve that, and by the time the customer leaves here, he's going to have a big smile. Okay, it took us six passes to get a really good solid baseline on this Roush powered 5 liter Ford. This Mustang from 2022 is making 555 horsepower at the wheel fairly consistently. Today is as good as conditions as you can get for making horsepower. It's cool, the humidity is low, and this should have made 652 horsepower according to the math at roughly 15% drivetrain loss. It's at 555, so it falls 100 horsepower short of what it should make. What we're gonna do now is look at the same thing we always do, fueling. The fueling on this with the tune that's provided from Ford, from Roush, is gonna be all over the place. So all he's gonna go through and he's gonna spend an hour to an hour and a half fixing the fueling, making sure that the fueling is correct, making sure that it works the way it's supposed to. After that, we'll look at cam timing, because cam timing's a big deal on these. We have access to everything to make the cams work correctly, and then we'll jump into making sure that the boost curve is good, and the fueling, uh, sorry, and the ignition timing is excellent. After that, we'll be done the tune, and we'll show you the results as we go. Yeah, that's nice. That's, I did not expect that. That's significantly better. Significantly better. To do the same pass, 6.2, 5.1, so he's taking 1.1 seconds off. With his first, on his first stab at it. Holy smokes, that's really good. And look at that curve. I did not expect that. Alrighty, we've just made our first set of adjustments. So while he's in the car, he saw what was wrong. He uploaded a lot of changes to this. He's made some fueling adjustments and we're already 30 horsepower over the advertised wheel horsepower from where we were. We went from 555 to 681 in about 20 minutes. Now Wally's got all the hard work ahead of him, which is the uphill battle to make little bits and bigger changes to get where we're going, but we're already at 780 horsepower at the crank. Time. It's something that a lot of people won't talk about when they're talking about dyno tuning, but I want you to take a look over here in just a minute. We're making almost 700 horsepower at the wheels after lots of adjusting and lots of time here in the dyno. Wally's working on the fueling and the cam timing to get it correct, but the amount of time that it takes to go from our basic 2,000 RPM over here to 166 miles per hour is 5.6 seconds. When this came in, we were only going 155 mile an hour, and we were only turning at 6,600 RPM. The tune just wasn't that great. The time has come down. We are over 1.3 seconds faster now from A to B. If you go to some place and they tell you, I tuned your car, it's got 20 more horsepower, but it's actually the same time from A to B. All they did was give you a little timing change, which does nothing and it's not really a tune. We're gonna to continue to work on this curve. The straighter we make this curve, the longer we have more average torque 
the shorter this time will be and the more power we'll have and the better tune it'll be. That's what we're doing right now is we're refining. We're not worrying about peak horsepower. It's going to come anyway. That's what we're doing. Alrighty, we've just finished up the tune. It's taken a while, we've gone through the fueling, we've gone through the cam, Tom and Wally has really taken his time to make sure that this car is correct. We are now more than 50 horsepower over the rating of the wheel horsepower from the factory. And we are now up from 555 to over 704 horsepower at the wheels. Not the same car anymore, it's gonna work very well. It's not on the bitter edge, it's just tuned correctly running correctly at this point wally did a just bang up job on this one took his time and really really got this one nice over 700 horsepower at the wheels that's a nice result all right this is the roush performance kit that gets bolted on to the five liter mustang the five liter mustang engine is already extremely stout it already has 12 and a half to one compression so when you put a couple of pounds of boost Onto an engine that already has 12 and a half to one compression, four overhead variable cams, you get a really stout package. There's literally nothing else on the market today that has that kind of performance that you can just bolt on a supercharger and go. This is a TBS um, 2650. So they Roush and Ford rebadged this, but it's a TVS blower, really, really good unit. This works extremely well, pushes the air in, pushes it around, pushes it down into the intake. Again, makes pressure on the intake. This should make about 11 pounds of boost, which should bring us up when we're all said and done to over 750 horsepower at the crank.